Last night on stream, someone recommended watching a video called The Guy Freaks Out in Apartment Lobby, which is a super vague title that's like going on Pornhub and typing in boobies and trying to find one particular video you have in mind. But to my surprise, I actually did find the video they were talking about. It's a fucking wild adventure, but I couldn't finish it on stream because at one point he starts showing his asshole and ass cheeks. Not really the asshole, you'd have to really slow down the footage in order to get a look at the brown balloon knot. But he does bring out his ass cheeks, and since he wasn't in a hot tub, Twitch isn't okay with ass on their platform. So I had to back out of the video and didn't get to finish it. Which is an absolute shame, it's like starting Breaking Bad without finishing it. Just truly a sin, and you're incomplete until it's done. So today I wanted to go back and watch it, and I'd like to finish the rest of it with you here on YouTube. But obviously I won't be showing the guy's ass cheeks or anything like that. Uh, if you missed the stream last night, you really fucked up. Uh, the streams I do every day at twitch.tv slash moistcritical are the best on the internet, so please feel free to stop in, put some extra inches on your penis. Would love to see you there. Don't come in! Don't come in! Leave! 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 Why? He's just trying to hang out and party. I'm missing crucial lore. Yeah, the guy's not letting him in. I'm gonna call the cops again. I have to ask him to leave my office. Like, you... Shut your mouth! <laughs> Oh my god, he- It's for the police. He's speaking Slytherin! Uh, we need somebody to come to the trial. Like in case he assaults you. Jesus! Oh god! He's casting a curse! No, like, we need somebody now. Now! It's an emergency! 911 is supposed to come for an emergency! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> what the fuck is- God, it's like playing charades with like a really aggressively competitive relative. What is it called in Harry Potter? Potter? Parcel tongue? It reminds me of Stone Cold Steve Austin walking around the ring. Oh my god, he's gonna do it! Do it! Do it! Yes! Yes! Woo! And then slam two beers together. <laughs> Holy shit, he's going in! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it does look like a ritual. Oh, wait a minute. That's going too far. That's going too far. That was that was real Sigma male energy. But I want to finish it. Hold on, let me give me a second. Uh you wouldn't understand. If I don't see dick, I'll put it back on screen. What is this? I have no idea, but I am really drawn into the universe here. He never brings his dick out. I should be good. I've kind of spoiled a little bit of the anime for myself. But <laughs> we, we can watch it on screen. Yeah, the pants never come off. This is where we left off. Yeah. Yeah. Take that! Oh, no, wait a minute. I must have missed that part. We're good, though. I backed out just in time. He, he got a little wild there. He was posting cringe on main. God damn it, I even skimmed through the video and missed the one part he <laughs> brings out his fucking butt cheeks. Those reflexes, though, are nutty. You wouldn't see even a single pixel of ass cheek. Now, if he was in a hot tub, I wouldn't be worried. But since he's more like in a public situation, I feel like maybe Twitch wouldn't be okay with it. When I was first watching this, I thought this was Jax Films playing a part or something as like a little hidden camera Eric Andre kind of thing. But the more I watch it, the less convinced I am that this is really Jax Films. I don't think he's the kind of guy that would go to himself in a public hotel lobby, no matter how committed he is to the skit. After having to throw out this hypothesis, I was left with one conclusion. The man's just out here going hog wild. Anyway, we have here. Hey, I'm gonna show him what's up real fast. No, I'm just saying he comes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so if he comes in here, there's a ton of us. His belt as a weapon technique is actually pretty impressive. He kind of reminds me of like Avatar The Last Airbender. You can see him start to channel that energy towards the end there as he's working the belt. Maybe he is like one of the last PCP benders out there now and this is just him showcasing his mastery and his expertise to the public. The way he's able to just slap that belt against the wall, the way he was like kind of charging it up for a little while, gathering a lot of electromagnetic static ready for a chakra vibrating slam that he just blasts on the ground. You know, this isn't just some ordinary guy. This right here is a dangerous master of karate. Where are the cops? We're on the phone with him again. Whoops, uh... He's standing outside of our glass office, hitting the wall with the belt. Cussing and something. Did you not hear that? Oh my gosh. Did you not hear that? Okay, well, I don't know how she can talk about my 25 staff members in here. This guy looks like every car salesman I've ever seen in my life. Maybe that's the, the backstory here, the lore. He's actually a car salesman, he's had a great day selling shit, and now he's just out here in the apartment lobby ready to celebrate, you know? And this is just him having a jolly old time. What the hell? Oh, wow. he's with, he's, 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 oh. oh my god. He's definitely Is he on drugs? That's like asking if poop smells like shit. I think it's very clear that he is not in the, the normal state of mind. I wouldn't necessarily say he's sober in this instance. Or maybe I could be wrong. Maybe he just knows what we don't, you know? He's seen the strings that hold the universe together. He's just so full of infinite wisdom that now he appears crazy to us simpletons. You know, kind of like that shit in Indiana Jones where they open the crypt and then like their faces melt off because it's too beautiful. Or like in Jujutsu Kaisen when Gojo like gives you the infinite, like just hits you with infinity and like you just freeze and can't do anything. Maybe that's what happened. He's just truly transcended us as a species and we're just so far behind him now. Uh, but I do like that they all start to panic the second it looks like he's going to try and like climb up the chandelier or rappel down it. I'm really not even sure, but he was going to use like his belt as some kind of climbing apparatus and all at once everyone just lets out a collective gasp like they thought he was going to die from that height. It was our office for at least a meeting and you snuck in the door and you sat down next to me and I was like... They don't know the right now. Do you think it's it's house? Who are these fucking people? Who are these fucking people? Who are I can really appreciate the character development here. In the beginning, everyone was panicked about this wild man who just came in here acting fucking crazy, going wild like Donnie from the, the Thornberrys show. But now, as it progresses, now they start to laugh at him. He's become less of, like, the boogeyman and more of just, like, a clown that now everyone's poking fun at and laughing at, which I can really appreciate. It reminds me of the It movie where they finally took away the fear and Pennywise was powerless. But this is like in the real world. It won't, it won't lock. You have to lock it in the computer. No, you have to lock it in the computer. What is going on? Oh, you have to lock it in the computer. I'm honestly jealous of the spectators here in the front row. They're getting a full theatrical performance, complete with a Blue Man Group improvised musical number there from that guy, banging on the desk, banging on the plant, and finishing with a giant cymbal crash of slamming the belt on the floor again. What more could you ask for? Oh, he's playing this now. Oh, what the... Oh my god, I think he's killing himself. No. He's not that. He can't see. Oh, he's playing this now. Oh my god, she caught it. What the hell? What, now he speaks English? Unfortunately, that's where this adventure concludes. The police come and escort him out of the apartment lobby, never to be seen again. At least not until the world needs him once more. Then he shall rise like a phoenix from the ashes to swing from chandeliers and show his butthole to uh, people in apartments once again. But until then, that's about it for this. See ya.